Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. Yes, yes, yes. Today we are at the sea. So we are talking about Kalisi, 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 Kalisi Veride. Right, so uh, the main virus we are going to discuss about is the norovirus, also known as the Norwalk virus. Right, so this virus is positive sense single stranded RNA virus. And in this series, guys, I know, but you know, practice makes perfect. We are representing it using this sun. It is an icosahedral symmetry and it is a naked virus, meaning to say it's not covered by that um, lipid, en uh, lipid envelope. The norovirus is acid stable. What it means is that it can infect our GIT and it can be transmitted through fecal oral route. Let's see. Okay, here we have our guy. I don't want to name him. You can see him. Okay. So, if it gets in contact with our vegetables in the fields, uh, we are at risk. Secondly, if we fail to, uh, to practice hygiene like washing our hands, we are at risk. And last but not least, this guy can find its way to water bodies. And what will happen is if we drink this water, uh, like without purifying it, we are at risk. And most importantly, uh, if we eat shellfish from this water, we can get the norovirus. And listen. Yes, I did not forget about the flies. Okay, so the peak incident is usually in winter. And community outbreaks are usually common in uh, nursing homes, hospitals, uh, preschools, and cruise ships. So this banner is representing the cruise ship. So if you have been asking yourself why we have this thing today, yes, we are at the sea talking about the Kalisi. Okay, moving on. Uh, elderly and immunocompromised patients are commonly affected by this norovirus. And the norovirus is the most common cause of, number one, adult gastroenteritis. Number two, severe acute gastroenteritis in children younger than five years of age. Okay, the incubation period of the norovirus is usually... 12 to 48 hours. And the symptoms are nausea and acute onset vomiting. Not forgetting watery and non-blood diarrhea. And sometimes they refer to this kind of diarrhea caused by the norovirus. They refer to it as explosive diarrhea. And also the patient will present with abdominal cramps myalgia and headaches uh, and these symptoms will resolve after 48 to 72 hours okay let's see how we can treat this um this norovirus okay if the patient is um uh, this vomiting and diarrhea the patient will be dehydrated so Firstly, we need uh, to rehydrate the patient. Rehydration, and if necessary, uh, with IV fluids, especially in elderly and in children. Uh, if the patient has a myalgia and headache, usually we give NSAIDs or acetaminophen. And one more thing, this virus is so dangerous because... Uh, this virus can be shed in stools even up to four weeks after recovery. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting and useful, please hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment on the comment section. Until next time, head bowed.